Greetings, Jeff, from one of the greatest cities our nation has to offer, Austin, Texas, the home to the University of Texas, where tomorrow the Crimson Tide and the Longhorns are set to do battle for the first time in well over a decade. You know, it's uh, a great opportunity for us to have a chance to play a, a school like Texas, who's got great tradition and they got a really good team. Again, a story program, a great team, and us being able to travel there, um, you know, we know it's going to be a very hostile environment. Alabama enters Saturday's matchup a three-score favorite. Even at home, Texas isn't getting much of a shot, but head coach Steve Sarkeesian won't allow this one game to dictate the narrative for his football team. One of the biggest mistakes people make is like, this is going to be the game that's going to define our program. I don't it might, it might not. I'm not that concerned about it. I'm more concerned about just the way we play the game. When two storied programs like Texas and Alabama square off, a matchup like that draws plenty of media attention. So it's no surprise that ESPN's College Game Day made the trip to the 40 Acres for this battle of college football's bluest of blue bloods. I think it's going to be a really interesting game. I do think that um, obviously Alabama's heavily favored, but um, that's why we play these games. I think that there's a little bit of novelty to it. I think it's great that it's on campus. I sense traveling in here yesterday, both from Texas people who no longer live here who are traveling in and a throng of Alabama people. And Jeff, in just about 12 hours time, these two traditional powers will meet right behind me inside DKR Memorial Stadium for the first time since 1922, a game 100 years in the making. And we can't wait for it. From Austin, Texas, I'm Johnny Condon, ABC 3340 Sports.